All right, welcome back to Fast Breaks and Breakfast. Today, Leah, we're really excited. We're gonna be opening up some repack wax. But before we do that, what are we having for breakfast? We have a crepe, and it has my favorite Nutella and some strawberries. And then we got a omelet that has mushrooms and cheese. And then we got the same thing for my dad, but it has honey. And then we got coffee, cafe con leche, and we got milk. Awesome, and who's that right next to you? This is Justina. She is um, a doctor, and um, she looks like really pretty. I like her. All right, so here we have the repack wax, wax. which are a um, really cool concept where they actually take old cards from 1950 to the 2000s, Leah, and they repack, uh, repack them in these uh, wonderful wax wrappers. And so this is really cool because we're going to see cards that I, uh, that I collected when I was your age. Uh, I started collecting back in 1976. When he was my age. Exactly. Okay. Uh, eight years old and here you are today. A lot of the cards that are going to be in here also from the like nine, late mid-90s to around the 2000s I, I, are going to be new to me since I stopped collecting back in actually 1986 when I was in high school. So um, it's going to be neat to uh, see these uh, these packs. The cards and that you used to collect. That's right. And we're hoping to get some like older cards here. Anything like older than 1976, in my opinion, is uh, really awesome and nice. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and open your first pack, Leah. Okay. So go ahead. You want to try opening it? Yeah. Let's All right. See. So uh, you open it like this. Ooh, yeah. There you go. It's pretty smooth how you open it. That's awesome, huh? Look at that. They Look what a wonderful job they do of repacking these yeah, baseball cards. And also they put it this so like it doesn't get dirty or anything. Oh, it's like a sticker, huh? Oh, yeah. Wait, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah I think it, it is. is. It's repack rack stickers. Look it. If you ever get these, you could okay. get a sticker with them. Let's see what we got. Oh, actually, this is a kind of a newer card. This is a, a Charlie Blackman from, um, this is from uh, 2016. Okay. Or, or, I'm sorry, 2016. Yeah, no, that's correct. That's a nice card. We don't have that one. No, we're going to put that in our in our collection there. We got Hubie Brooks. I remember him playing for the Montreal Expos there. Very nice. What year is this? Uh, Donruss 1986. Okay, cool. It'd be nice to get a Jose Canseco from that year, huh? Um, Alan Embry. Uh, he guess, I guess he was a prospect back in the day in the 90s. Yeah, 92 right there. Uh, Ron Kittle, oh, this guy was a really good hitter, Leah. Power hitter. This guy would hit a lot of home runs. Let's see, um, this is a 1985, and let's see, he hit 50 home runs back in Edmonton. Actually, that's that was my, uh, in the minor leagues. But um, he hits quite a few home runs, 35, 32, in, uh, in 83 and 84. Really good home run hitter. We have DJ Dozier here. For uh, this is Domus eighty three, we have Tim Raines, Tim Rock Raines. He's a Hall of Famer, Leah. That's a nice card, and look at the condition of these cards. They're awesome, huh? No, they're like the the ends are really sharp. Some are like a, just a little dented. That one over there. And they're also really good center centered. Yeah, they really are, huh? That so for being such a you know nice old cards. Five Chris, stars review. Yeah, absolutely, Chris Nabahals. Nab Halls. Ah, I don't remember him. Oh, look at this nice 1974 tops. Rod 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 Zinsky. Rod, Mike Rodzinski for the Phillies. Wow, this is a very nice card. Look at the condition of that card, huh? Yeah. That's beautiful. Let's put that one over here. Bill Allman for yeah. the White Sox. This is a 1983 Donruss. We got Lloyd McClendon. Nice. We got a Ken Daly, a Jamie Quirk. I think this is 1981 tops. Uh, yes, it is 1981 tops. That's Dan cool. Papa, Dan Pasqua. Dan Yeah. Good job, Leah. Dan. This is yeah, Dan Pasqua. This is a Fleer, a 1987 Fleer. That yeah, definitely. I had stopped collecting at that point. I don't remember the uh, this uh, that release from Fleer, and then 1990 Fleer there. Don Paul. Don Paul. <laughs> and then Willie Hernandez. I remember Willie. Great, great pitcher for the Tigers. Excellent. That was a pretty cool first pack, huh? Let's go ahead and rip into our next one here. Okay. All right. 
It's really nice how they put those these little uh are these stickers? Try to see if you can unpeel one of these guys. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see if you can do that. I don't think they might be stickers. I don't know if they are, but uh, yeah, I think you might be able to um, um, peel them. And here we have a Red Sox leader, I believe from this is from 1987 tops. You got a Royals leader, and uh, this is from 86. I want oh, to yes, say. it is a sticker. Oh, cool, it is a sticker, huh? So it does come off like a sticker. That's cool. Yeah. We're gonna have to put those on, uh, you know, around the house, huh? <laughs> yeah. Alvaro Espinosa. We got Ray Hayward, Rick Roden. Mm -hmm. I remember when he, he used to pitch for the Dodgers. He was a really good pitcher. Awesome. And then we have here, oh, this is a nice one. George Brett, 1990 score. That's cool. That's He's a Hall of Famer, Leah. Good job. Cool. I'm going to put this sticker on my skateboard. This, that's a good idea. There you go. Ricky Gutierrez I'll just Bowman. Right here for now. All righty. Ben Oglevy. We got a 1987 Reed Nichols. Very cool. Oh, this one is awesome, Bea. Look, this is the year I first started collecting, 1976 Tops. Whoa. Dave Winfield. Wow, this is in really nice condition. Yeah, it's a little bit off center, right, top to bottom, but it's a very nice card. Very cool. This is going to go in our collection because I think the one I have is a lot more beat up than this one. You know, back in when I used to collect, Leah, mm -hmm. we used to put uh, put them in by teams and we used to put rubber bands around them. Of Why? course, because to keep them together. Obviously, you know. It would dent them. Oh, yeah. They're, so a lot of my uh, earlier cards are not in great condition. We got this uh, Gerald Clark. This is a neat card. Uh, Tops, what year is this? Tops uh, 1993. That's a cool card. We got Robin Ventura. Yeah. He, he, I remember Robin Ventura. I guess he uh, got in a little scuffle with Nolan Ryan, right? And it didn't turn out too good for him. But anyway. He was a really good, solid player for the White Sox. Oh, look at this, 1973, Phil Hennigan. That's a nice card. That's definitely one I, we don't have in our collection. Yeah, that, that one's good. We got a Doyle Alexander, 1983, Donruss, and an Orlando Hernandez. Whoa, and Guano. that card, yeah. and that card looks cool. Look at it. It's like signed and like... Cool. Yeah, it has a little signature there. It has the black borders. Uh, and considering it has these black borders, it's actually in really good condition. Yeah. Well, nice. Oh, my gosh. You're this so is going in our PC, PC for sure. Collection. Personal collection. Can That's an awesome... It? Yeah, of course, Bea. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and rip into the next one. These these are these packs are fun, excellent. You can get them at Repacks Wax if they're still That's available because they sell out pretty quickly. I was pretty lucky; I was able to get a, a few of these, so I got bought a pack of five of them. And we might also sell a little bit of these stickers because we got a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, these are stickers. I don't know what we're gonna do with them, but they're awesome. Yep. Okay, we get uh right here uh, Kevin uh, uh, Ramirez from this is uh what year tops uh, nineteen ninety one tops. You got a, a nice uh, Fleer here, Steve McCaddy. Yep. Is this Fleer? Yeah, it is Fleer. Okay, cool. We got a Chris Bosio. That's a nice card from, I believe, uh, 92 Tops. A Dodger! Mickey Hatcher. Mickey Hatcher, Liam. It's ironic that we get Mickey Hatcher because he, back in when the Dodgers won in 1988, he was uh, the, pretty much the MVP of the Dodgers during the playoffs. Uh, he was just a really scrappy uh, player and just such an awesome guy. This is a 1990 Fleer Mickey Hatcher. That's going in our PC for sure. Yep. Yeah, we got uh, Doug Simmons here for the Expos. This is a uh, 83 Donruss. Eric Davis, awesome. This is a nice card. Uh, this is a, uh, what year Fleer? There's an 87 Fleer Eric Davis. Talk about an awesome player. He played for the Dodgers for a little bit as well. He did? Yep. 1986 Tops Rich Hebner. Oh, and we got another of these cards. Like, the cool ones. These are really cool. And this is a really good pair. A Cheeto. He holds a record for most hits lifetime uh, in uh, professional baseball. Of course, Pete Rose still has it for the Major League Baseball. But uh, he, he, he's gotten a, a ton of hits also in Japan and here in the United States. At this point in his career, back in 2007, he had 1,000... 354 hits. Wow, that's an awesome card. Love it. And then here we have this uh, nice bowman of an angel that I can't read because um, look how they put the the yeah. name there in. Uh, Do you want in, me to read it? I see. Read it. Oh, yeah. It's a really good player. Tell me who that is. Um, it's jo Josh 
Hamilton. Josh Hamilton. That's awesome. He's a great player, Leah. Unfortunately, he had a lot of problems off the field and uh, kind of shortened his career, but a nice card. Here we have, I believe, this is a 1991 Jeff Robinson, I want to say. No, 1990, I'm sorry. Tops. You got a Mo Vaughn. He's a really uh, cool player. This is a Tops total from uh, 2003. Uh, Tony Perez. I Tony We need Perez. this card. You know, that'll oh, be PC, we, Tony. Yeah, we also um, collect Tony Perez. That's right. And, and this is a beautiful 1981. Yeah, Tops. Tops 1980 uh 81 Tony Perez and we need to look at the condition of that car look at the corners everything is beautiful that is awesome then we got a uh, Bruce uh Brindley from the Mets from the Mets Doc Gooden that's a nice one that's a very cool card he uh this is a 1987 um Fleer that's a nice card and Finally, we have a Mike Scott for the Astros. Astros. Sometimes when I'm not paying attention, I think it's the Cowboys because, like, the star. All right. Yeah. Well, they're in the same state, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're big Cowboys fans here, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, we don't talk about that that much this season, but, you know. Yeah, when... <laughs> they're not really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's for sure. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and see what our next pack brings. We're down to two more packs. Excellent. We got... Uh, Michael Kodair, who's been a pretty solid player uh, for all his career. Here with, uh, this is a kind of a newer card here. This is a 2016 oh, yeah. Tops. That's nice. Oh, and we got Mike um, Mar Marshall. Marshall. Mike Marshall. 86 Donruss. And he plays for the Dodgers. That's right. He was on that 88 uh, World Series team. Uh, we got Dan Smith here with Dan a nice Smith. little portrait, like a headshot, like a... I don't know, something you would use for an interview. Uh, and uh, So Dan Smith was uh, uh, a prospect for the Rangers here. Awesome. No, Tony tough. Dunbar. That's Tony a nice Dunbar. card. Yeah, excellent. We got uh, Mike uh, Timlin. We got uh, Alex Rodriguez. Whoa. Whoa. That card looks cool. That is a very cool card. A-Rod. This is a very nice card. That's a Fleer Tradition. Very nice. Mark Eichhorn. Mark Pinnacle for the Angels there. Kind of like Acorn. Yeah, look at this one here. Uh, look at this beautiful 1974 Whoa, uh, 74 tops. When they, like, yeah, that is a nice card there. Wow, and, and once again, the condition is great. Uh, off center, but off we, center, we don't yeah. care about that. Yeah, we don't care about that. As long as it's a nice sharp, it has good eye appeal, we love it. And we got Dan Petrie there. Don Aussie, we got a uh, oil can Boyd for the Expos. He was a feisty pitcher. Lee Mazzelli, I remember him. The first game I, th I believe we went uh, to Dodger Stadium when I was a kid. Uh, I think Lee Mazzelli was uh, was uh, uh, playing for the Mets there, and he was uh, a rookie at the time. And and, uh, and uh, I I saw him and I wanted to get his autograph, but uh, he didn't come near where we were at. And then uh, we got Bobby uh, Meacham. Bobby Meacham. Bobby Meacham. And then we got here this beautiful 1989 World Series card. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, the National cool. League MVP, Kevin Mitchell. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then uh, Jeff Denman here for the last card, Fleer. Excellent. We're down to our last pack here, Leah. This has been a fun rip, huh? Yeah, I actually am so surprised that we got lots of good cards. And they look yeah, we really did. cool. Very cool, huh? I love it. Cool, yeah. ah, I love these packs because you never know what you're going to get. It's fun opening these all like the wax packs. packs. Exactly. Here we got a 1986 Tops Dickie Thon. Astros. We got Alan uh, Nicely. Ask, Ask Nicely you. and you shall receive here. Here we have a Don Russ, 83 Don Russ. Bob Mylecki. We have a Jim Barr. What? Jim yeah, this Barr. is 79, I believe, right? Yep, 79 tops. Look at that condition of that card. I know. It's just like it just came out of a pack, huh? Yeah. Well, it did, right? Yeah, it did. <laughs> That's awesome. Carney Lansford, great player. Greg Nettles, I remember him more with the Yankees than in the Padres. That's a nice looking card, too. You got uh, Eric Hetzel. Oh, look at oh, this little card. Whoa. A little Tony Gwynn Hall of Famer. Uh, this, what kind of card is this? It's like a, a coin King card. B, a coin card, huh? Yeah, for a quality meets King B. That is super cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. That's a highlight there for sure. Well, that card's cool too. Yeah, Eric like Anthony. Pressure. Yeah, he looks like he's not very happy there, huh? As somebody, he's like, like looking at him. He's like, um, he's about to, they're about to win, so they need to be like more like tougher. Yeah, exactly. He's like, he's like acting tough and stuff like that. But come on, you're not that tough, Eric. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got John Wathen here, 1991. I say tops, right? I think that's what that is. Uh, Bill Landrum, nice. Alan Bannister. We got Leon Durham. We got Kivas uh, uh, Sampson. I think you, you said that wrong. Yeah, I believe I did. <laughs> and then uh, Mark Anthony. Oh, he's a he's a singer. I think he was married to J Lo. I might be a different Mark Anthony. J Lo. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely a different uh, Mark Anthony. Um. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, awesome. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this break of Repax Wax. That was a pretty cool break, huh, Leah? Yeah. We'd like to get some more of these and, and bust some more of these in the future. Uh, but before we go, I'll let you uh, share with you guys. This is the um, Ernie Banks that we were talking about last uh, week that we said, I said, when well, they said that um, we had uh, just gotten our first uh, Ernie Banks. Well, this is it right here, the 1969 Ernie Banks here. Pretty nice card, huh? We yeah. love it. And then uh, also I also want to share it with you guys here. This really cool uh, first pitch cards. I really do like these first pitch cards. And this is a Mev Kaflexi. You know what? who Mev is? Um, He's a runner. That's right. He's a, a marathoner. He was the first uh, American to win the Boston Marathon in like over 30 some odd years back in 2014. So really awesome. And my dad is also a runner too. He yeah, but well, we don't want to brag about that. Come on, Leah. That comes out later on, maybe in another <laughs> video. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week with another video. Take care now. Bye.